Seattle lawmakers are speeding up the process to pass COVID-19 liability protections for businesses. This means Hoosiers could have a hard time suing a company if they think they got the virus at that place of business. Fox 59's Kayla Sullivan reports on uh, what this bill would do and why some are asking for more clarity. It provides some certainty. The Indiana Chamber of Commerce is one of the biggest advocates for COVID-19 liability protections for businesses. Taking this issue off the table really gives business community, hey, we don't have to worry about this. We're not going to be sued unless we do something that's really egregious. As it stands now, the bill would protect companies from lawsuits regarding COVID-19 as long as those businesses don't act with gross negligence or willful misconduct. I'm a lawyer and I don't understand those terms. Senate Minority Leader Greg Taylor says the bill needs to outline exactly what that means. He would like the language to require companies to follow CDC and local health official guidelines. We need to make it clear to the people that people who don't follow the guidelines will not be protected. This does not infringe on an employee's uh, workman's comp, uh, you know, coverage and protection, and it also does not uh, sidestep any requirements for occupational health and safety. Author Senator Mark Mesmer says the bill is designed to keep employees employed in Indiana. He says just the cost of a lawsuit process before the case goes to trial could put some Hoosier companies out of business. So this is really a jobs protection uh, bill that protects, you know, the people that that, you know, he's trying to protect. Mesmer says next week they'll likely add protections for COVID-19 products, too, like masks, gowns and ventilators made in Indiana. They, they need to have some protection as well. Kayla Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Kayla, thank you. Lawmakers hope to have this bill passed before the NCAA tournament in March. There's also a version up in the House of Representatives.